gorgeous. Hope you're having a great day. It is such a joy to see you. I have a quick announcement before I get into today's video. I am on TikTok now, officially. You know what? I found out that somebody was impersonating me. They were taking my videos and labeled the account as Zabrina Official impersonating me. And so <laughs> I reported it to TikTok and TikTok came back and said, there's no copyright infringement. We can't do anything. Okay, well then let's start our own account on TikTok, shall we? So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be putting short videos on there, uh, just little makeup tidbits here and there, things that I've been discovering and doing. I'm just finding right now that for the season of life that I'm in, shorts are going to be a little easier for me to do. So you may see more shorts here on the YouTube channel and on TikTok. It doesn't mean that I am abandoning the long form videos like this. So don't worry about that. It's just easier for me. I think you'll see me more if I can do shorts. I didn't even tell you what the name of it was. If you look up The Real Zabrina, that's how you'll find me on TikTok. And I'll have the information for you below in the description box too. So today's video is about makeup from the drugstore that you would think is high end if you saw it on someone or if you were blindfolded and you tried it. It is that good. I have been loving these. And some of them you've heard me mention before. If you haven't, if it's the first time you're hearing about them, then hey, you discovered something new. I have to rave. Okay, about this little essence palette. Yes, the nothing compares to nude palette. I love this little thing. I have been using it so consistently since I picked it up and I'm wearing it again today. I love it. So pigmented, easy application with these. It's very compact, which I really appreciate. Yeah, it's one of those like small hidden gems that you would never know how good it was unless you tried it. Revlon's Blurring Powder, yes! I don't know, I mean, this stuff is absolutely incredible. This was one that was asked about by one of you. Can you review it? I've heard good things about it and I'm gonna tell you it's awesome. It blurs everything. It's like a filter for your face and it's gorgeous. I'm wearing a dent in it because it is that good so get you some and you know what last time i looked this up i think it was getting harder to find so i don't know if they're discontinuing it we'll find out when i do the links for this video but if you can find it it's worth it i have to rave about this i talked about it in a video very recently but i love it this is elf's camo liquid blush and the shade that i'm showing you here is peach perfect I'm in love with this. I've been wearing it nonstop. It is a cream cheek, one of the most beautiful colors, very natural, simple, elegant looking on the skin. And the formula is bar none, one of the best in the drugstore that you will find. NYX. All right, this is another new recent find for me and another one that I cannot put down. And this is the Pro Fix Stick correcting concealer. These are phenomenal. I have to go back and get more of these. When I was in the store, I noticed that they had a green one and there were, I mean, there were a lot of colors in this little line. I want to try the green one next, but if you struggle with any color issues in your skin, this is an excellent line of color correctors to try. Lipsticks. I, okay, I'm going to rave about these two lipsticks because they have been the ones that I've been wearing non-stop. I love them. The first one is Elf's Effortless. This is so beautiful. It looks amazing on my skin tone. If you have a fair complexion, if you're a redhead, if you're blonde, brunette, I mean, goodness, whatever, whatever you look like, you got to try it. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it's, is the perfect no lip color kind of lip color, at least that, you know, I like it. So the other one that I've really, really been loving is from Maybelline. I love this. This is called Born With It. And it's been, <laughs> I've already used most of it up. I mean, yeah, it's half worn down here, but this color is one of the most beautiful pinks. You know, I got Gia into it now. She's so funny. She was asking me the other day, could she put it on her cheeks as blush? Because she saw me doing that. And I said, yeah, you can do that. So now when I do my makeup in the morning, she'll come in there and she, where's the blush? Where's the blush? And so I give her the lipstick and she'll put little hearts. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Little hearts on her cheeks and then she'll blend it in. And it really is the most beautiful color. That's what it looks like. And when you pair it up with a mauve lip liner, the one that I use with it is from Believe Beauty called Barely There. 
these two are impeccable. That's what I'm wearing on my lips today, actually. I love it. I love it. I'm going to rave about this one, too. This is from the B Color brand. You can find this at Dollar Tree. This is a makeup correcting gel pen. I love this thing. Where has this thing been? There's so many correcting kind of products out there, but they're always way expensive and they may work, but I could never justify the expense because I'm like, I have Q-tips and makeup remover that costs 50 cents, you know? <laughs> this is a dollar. So I didn't really feel like I was losing much in trying it. I gotta tell you, it's awesome. Especially when I'm doing wings. If I make a mistake, I need to correct it just a little bit it is perfect. And it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy, slimy, nothing like that. The makeup applies over the top of wherever you use this perfectly. That's great. I'm gonna take a second too to rave about this moisturizer. I've probably had it for a while. For some reason, I just dug it back up out of my drawer and I love this. I forgot how much I love this stuff. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. Ah, oh, yes, this is, oh my gosh. It feels so high end. I would compare it to something like the Tatcha water cream and possibly even some of the Kate Summer Somerville, I think I'm saying that right, moisturizers because it feels like that. It's very hydrating, it's smooth, it's got this watery texture to it. It's absolutely lovely and it plays well underneath makeup too. I gotta take a minute to and rave about the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is more great stuff. I know you've heard me talk about this. You've probably heard other people rave about it too, but I'm gonna rave about it some more because it's not good. It's one of those that is great if you don't want a fully mattified look and you want a little bit of dewiness to your skin. It's, it is, yeah, that. That's what we want, especially as we're getting older, right? We don't want to look like a flat wall. <laughs> Have some semi-gloss. I also have to rave about this Revlon blush. This is the one in Rosy Rendezvous. It's been my go-to pretty consistently now for I want to say at least a year, maybe a year and a half. I mean, I know you've heard me talk. This one, <laughs> it's 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 one of those. It's like, can we can we put the horse away, Sabrina? I put the horse away. I like the horse. Okay, it's awesome. It's the most beautiful color. It's not oversaturated with pigment, so when you apply it, you don't have to worry about that you're applying too much of it. And I think that's one of the things that I like the most about it because that's what you see in a lot of high-end blushes is that they're not over the top pigmented. They're just the right amount, and so that's why this one reminds me a lot of a higher end blush. And I just did a little short on this product that I have to rave to you about. This is from Hero Cosmetics. This is their Rescue Balm Color Correcting Green Cream. And this is actually a dupe for the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Corrector, but it's $13. The Tiger Grass one is, I wanna say it was $49. It might be more than that now, but a third of the cost and it's just as good let me tell you it is just as good i love this stuff so if you are battling redness and you really don't want to spend that amount of money on the dr jart one ha you would love this i'm sorry i get so excited about dupes because uh, i also have to rave about the be pure essentially ageless Blur Face Primer. This is another one that you can find in Dollar Tree stores. And I didn't know what to expect with it when I first tried it, but I have to rave about it because this takes everything off your face. It's like applying a filter. <laughs> it is one of the best for a dollar. Oh my gosh. One of the best primers I've ever used. Was that everything? I think that was everything. Thing. Yeah, that was everything. If you're interested in anything that I mentioned here today, everything will be listed and linked for you below in the description box. It has been a whirlwind around here lately, I have to say, but I wanted to share a little uh, learning experience now that we're at the end of the video and we can talk a little bit more uh, that I've had with homeschooling. Homeschooling to me has been so freeing and I wanted to share this with those of you who are homeschooling or maybe you're thinking about it because it's really changed my perspective on how kids learn. And I've learned so much in doing it too. So Gia it was in kindergarten this year, she's five. And we got to a point about two weeks ago where she had finished all of her kindergarten work. It's all done. There's nothing else left in the curriculum for her to learn. She's done. And so I was sitting there thinking, what do I do next? And then I, I just said, well, she could do first grade. 
let's just go into first grade. Why are we going to wait until August? I mean, what's the point? So I got her into first grade, which is the stuff that Jet, you know, Jet's in first grade right now. And she's just picking it up and, and moving right along with it. And it got me thinking that, wow, you know, this is amazing that she can advance forward based on her pace. Like, I don't have to wait to move her up. If she if she's ready, then let's go for it, you know? And same thing with Jet. I mean, he's moving right along and he's probably going to be going into second grade work here soon. And I just wanted to encourage those of you who are thinking about homeschooling that I feel like it creates a more individualized approach to learning. And it, especially from the opposite spectrum of it too, if your child struggles with a certain topic, you can spend more time on it. And I'm noticing that with Jet, he's having some issues with grammar and learning the proper English, which I mean, let's face it, that's... <laughs> Don't get me started on that because some of this stuff is just so like, why do we speak the way that we do? <laughs> but it's a struggle and I can understand why it's a struggle and, and trying to explain it sometimes is a struggle. So I have had the opportunity to work more on principles and things like that. But at the same time, his math skills are way more advanced. I mean, he's doing like third grade math right now. So it gives you the option to customize it and work on your son's or daughter's specific strengths and weaknesses. And that's what I've really, really been enjoying about this. I am working on some videos right now for my second channel, which will be faith-based. So as soon as I get those videos up and running, I will announce that channel for you here. I'm not going anywhere, don't worry. I'm still gonna be here, but I'm just doing other things. So that will be coming soon. And I think that's pretty much all that I can share at the moment. But I hope that you are doing well. Let me know how you are, how you're doing. If you need prayer, let me know and I'll add you to my list. I just want to say thank you so much for being here, for being so patient with me and so understanding. And I just want to say I love you and I really, really appreciate your support. And I truly look forward to sitting down and making these videos. Hopefully there will be more time in the future, but I'm, I'm trying to embrace where I'm at right now because, you know, as a mom, you know that these times, they're only going to be here for so much time. So thank you so much again. I speak love, peace, and joy. Lots of joy. I speak joy. Don't lose your joy, especially right now. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Just hold on to your joy. Don't lose it, especially right now. And I will see you again very soon.